Hi, I'm Nano Girl, and I want to be a superhero. And this week, the superpower I'm trying to get is the power of super strength. I've had so much fun learning about strength this week. We learned that we can get stronger by training, which helps us to grow more elastic muscle fibers. And we also learned about different types of strength, like tensor and compressive. We also learned the superpower of twisting and how we can twist ropes. Oh yeah, that's right, twist ropes, not ourselves. And we can make a super strong rope from that. We also made an awesome super strong pouch thanks to the power of weaving. Now it's time to lift something really heavy without whew, breaking a sweat. To help us lift heavy objects, we don't actually need to be super strong. We just need to understand forces and pulleys. Now pulleys are special devices that we can use to change the direction of the force needed to lift something. This can make it easier to move. You might have used a pulley system before to raise the window blinds or pull a flag up a flagpole. A system with one pulley is called a simple pulley. And if we use two or more pulleys, we can make something called a block and tackle, which makes lifting heavy objects much easier. I think we should build some pulleys and see if we can lift some really heavy stuff. For this experiment, you'll need card, paper, four wooden skewers, a ruler, a pencil, scissors, blue tack, four paper clips, some tape, an empty plastic bottle, and a box. I've got a shoe box. So first you're gonna take your paper and you're gonna make some paper straws. So you're gonna fold your paper in half and then cut along that fold and then roll each one up around a skewer to make a straw. When you've rolled it, then tape it all the way along its length. It should be able to wiggle around quite freely like this. You're gonna do this with your other sheet of paper so you've got two straws and then you're gonna measure eight centimeters four times so that you have four eight centimeter length straws. Next, you're gonna draw and cut out four circles. You want them to be about three centimeters in radius. So if you still have your compass from Super Sleuthing, you can measure three centimeters on your compass and that's gonna draw a six centimeter diameter circle. Now, I don't have my compass here, so I'm just gonna take something that is round that has six centimeters in diameter and I'm gonna draw four circles. Next, you're gonna cut them out and then you're going to cut each of them in half. It's gonna give you eight semicircles. Now each pulley is gonna need two semicircles and we're gonna make them into cones like this. Roll your flat edge until it meets and then put some tape around it to close it up. So we're gonna do that for all eight. Now you're gonna snip the end off your cone, making a hole just big enough to put your straw through. So you're gonna make it big enough that your straw can just fit through. Now we want to mount two cones onto every straw length, right in the middle with about two centimeters apart in the center so that the points are facing each other. The best way to do this is to use a little bit of blue tech. So I find if you make a little sausage of blue tech, now wrap your blue tech around the straw behind the cone, making a little collar. So slide it onto the straw in a little sausagey donut shape and then squeeze your cone back onto it like this and that will secure it in place. We'll do the same with the other cone. Okay, so now you need to tape these in place. So get a little bit of tape and tape the cone to the straw and then take your skewer and you're gonna tap your blue tech in using the back of your skewer here just to push it into place so everything is nice and snug and secure. Okay, you're gonna do this three more times until you end up with four pulleys just like this. Next, to help us keep the friction in our system as low as possible, we're gonna make some small plastic washers from our plastic bottle. Now, cutting plastic can be dangerous, so you're gonna want an adult to help you with this. First, cut your bottle around the middle so that you have the top and the bottom. Make the two sides almost the same size, but leave an extra couple of centimeters on one, and I'll show you why in a second. Now you're gonna cut off a one centimeter strip from your longest half. We're gonna use the plastic on that to make a washer. So you wanna cut about one centimeter by one centimeter squares off this. You want four of them in total. 
And what we need to do is put a small hole right in the middle of each one, just big enough to poke a skewer through. And I find it easier to do this if you have some blue tech and then put your plastic on top and then get an adult to help you to take the scissors and push a hole through the center. And just check that you can fit a skewer through the hole you just made. Like that. Easy peasy. Okay, we're gonna do that with the other three. We're going to mount two of our pulley wheels onto skewers and one into each of our bottle halves. Let's start with the skewer. We want our pulley wheel mounted at the blunt end of the skewer. So we're gonna slide a washer Fret the pointy end almost all the way to the other side. Next, take your pulley, put it on your skewer, and then seal it on the end with another one of these washers through the pointy end to make sure that it can't move very far. If your washers are curved, make sure that they are curving away from your pulleys. Otherwise, they'll stop it from being able to rotate like this. You want three to four millimeters of space either side of the pulley wheel between the wheel and the washer. And once you've got it all lined up, add a small blob of blue tech to the outside of each washer to hold everything in place. You're gonna make another one of these up in exactly the same way. Now let's mount pulleys in our bottle halves. These will be our hoppers. Here's a tip, work on the top of the bottle first. That way you can rest the bottle top in the base of the bottle while you work on it and keep everything steady. So carefully, with adult help if needed, make two small holes, one directly opposite each other on your bottle, about one centimeter down from the top. So you want to mount a skewer through these holes so it sits right across the mouth of your hopper. Okay, just like before, you're going to put your pulley wheel through here and out the other side. Make sure that it spins. And then you're gonna blue tack the ends and trim the skewer so it doesn't stick out too much. And then next, you're gonna do the same thing for the base. So you're gonna have two matching hoppers, one from the top of your bottle and one from the bottom. Now you've got a bottom hopper and a top hopper. Next, you're gonna take your box. I have a shoe box, but you can use any sort of box. A cereal box will also work. We want to be able to push our skewers right through the box so that they're held on both sides and held horizontally. Now I've decorated my box with a bit of card to make it a little bit easier to see. So measure the height of your box when it's standing on one of its long sides and then measure halfway down. So I can see that my box is 13 centimeters, which means that I need six and a half as halfway down. And then draw a line. This is gonna be where our holes sit. Next, I'm gonna mark five lines spaced evenly apart. I'm gonna make mine five centimeters. Now you're gonna do the same on the other side of the box so that the dots line up. And that way when you push your skewer through, it's gonna sit horizontally through the box. Carefully with your remaining skewer, poke through the holes from each side. Once you're done making holes, put a small blob of blue tech on the end of your skewer, the non-pointy end, and we will want that bit later. Next, put something heavy inside the box or tape it to a surface. I'm gonna probably use a rock to make sure that it securely fits on the end of my tabletop, like this. And this is gonna mean that the pulley wheels are gonna stick out over the edge. Now, so that you can see it, I'm gonna pop mine onto this box, but you can just hang yours on the end of a table. And I'm gonna take my box down and put some rocks in my lower one so that it doesn't topple over. Okay, so here you have this set up. You would normally do this over the end of a table. I'm gonna number the holes, one, two, three, four, five. Let's test our system with a simple pulley. Put one of your pulley rods into hole one. Push it all the way through and secure at the back with a blob of blue tech. And then put the other skewer and pulley into hole number four and secure that one with blue tech too. Next, you're gonna take a piece of string and you want it to be long enough to run from hole one across to hole four and you want it to run down to the ground. So I'm gonna cut mine probably about here. Next, you're gonna open out two paper clips. Just fold the middle outwards like this to fold it open. And then you're gonna tie one to the end of the string. I like to tie it to the small hook. I'll tie a double knot. And to make sure it's extra secure, you might wanna fold this over like that to make a loop. And there you go. So that's one hook. I'll do that again with another paper clip. And so now your piece of string has a hook 
on either end. Now take one of your hoppers and put the paper clip big hook around it like this and then do the opposite end on your other hopper like so. Now hang the rope over your two pulley wheels in the rack and you want it so that the hoppers are hanging down towards the ground. Pull one hopper down and the other one you should see goes up. That's because the pulley is redirecting the force. Now you're going to take a weight, I've got a rock here, I'm going to put it into your hopper and you'll see that that weight causes this one to come up. Now we want to see how much weight we need to put into this hopper to move the other one. I'm going to do that with a little bit of water. We're going to add enough water, oh, there it goes, to move that. So now we need to know how much water we had in here. So I'm going to pour this water out and I can see it took this volume of liquid. I've got a little bit of blue tech here to show you the level that it's at in my glass. Now if I set up a block and tackle, it should take less weight or less water in this side to actually lift our other hopper. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our skewer that we put the blue tack on and push it through slot 5, like that. Next, take a second longer piece of string. This time you need it to run from hole 1 across to hole 4, like this, down to the hopper and then back up to hole 5. And you're going to do the paper clips on the end again to make a hook. There we go. So I'm going to unhook this one here and unhook this one here. Now you're going to take your new hook and you're going to clip it on to this bottom hopper. Go over point 1, over pulley 2 and then down to your next hopper. Now instead of hooking it on, you're going to go underneath the pulley and then back around. It's going to come up and you're going to hook this onto number 5, like so. I'm going to pull this down like that. And there you go, it's now set up for our next test. Okay, time for the moment of truth. Does adding more pulleys mean that we need less weight or less water to lift this rock? Let's have a look. Nana Nana Girl, do you want to be part of this test? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to put you onto the rock and we're going to see if we can lift you. Here we go. So we're going to take our water that we used before and you'll see the amount of water we needed to move the rock last time. If this pulley system works the way it should do, we should use less water to lift the same amount of weight. So gently start pouring water into your hopper. Look, there it goes! And I still have half the glass left, meaning it took half the amount of water weight to lift the same rock. This means that this block and tackle system with the two pulleys reduces the amount of force that we needed to lift the same amount of weight compared to just one pulley. The more pulleys that we add, the easier it will be to lift. And this is the power of super strength. You may see pulleys in real life helping normal people be able to pull up things that are super, super heavy and they'll be just using their fingertips because I'll have some pulleys set up in place to let them do that. How are you doing, Nana Nana Girl? I know, I knew we could do it. Well done, team. I wonder what else we could put in this hopper to see if we could lift something really heavy. What about a horse? Or an elephant? Or a jumbo jet? Or the world's biggest cookie? Oh, Nana Nana Girl says it probably won't fit. She's probably right. I need to go build a bigger hopper. Be right back.